protecting and conserving our intertidal zones and estuaries. How do we save the environment? The intertidal zone and estuaries are a homes to different kinds of living things. These make them a vital place of the earth. These places are meant to be protected by us human beings. Most of our intertidal zones and estuaries are already under threat. Some of them are being converted to buildings, malls, etc., while others are now extensively polluted by men's industrial activities. Thus, we should protect and conserve our environment now before it is too late. The different ways of protecting and conserving the intertidal zones and estuaries. At home, avoid using synthetic fertilizers. Plants do not absorb them completely and it can wash off into our stream sand waterways. Use natural fertilizers. Trimmed grass clippings from your lawn can be used as a natural fertilizer. Grow plants in your garden. Choose plants that are native to your area so that it would need less water and fertilizer. Dispose toxic products properly. Improper disposal may pollute coastal rivers and estuaries. Remind your parents to pump your septic tanks at least every three years. Use non-toxic pesticides, examples of which is a mixture of soap, water, and chili pepper. Excessive use of toxic pesticides can pollute nearby waterways. Always clean up after your pet's waste. Never let their waste be washed up to waterways and end up polluting your estuaries. At the beach, leave our beaches clean. Always pick up your trash and dispose it properly. Do not disturb or keep animals that you found along the shoreline. Avoid using motorized boats in sensitive habitats. Use canoe or kayak if you want to snorkel near coral reefs. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. Why estuaries are important? Estuaries are important because it filters dirt before the freshwater enters the seas or oceans. Ike also filters the salt from the seasoned oceans before it enters the meth of the river. Estuaries also plays a vital role during storms since it serves as an exit point for floods. 